Good evening, everyone. My name is Warren Lance, and I want to welcome you to the weekly Take Action Team podcast, where each week, not only do we want to inspire you into taking action, but we want to give you some of the tools to move your business forward. And this week, um, as you can see, we have a special guest with us. Uh, he's an MD in both Canada and the US. He specializes in the pain management and sports medicine for over 30 years. Um, he likes to practice uh, non drugs like so he's a non practitioner using drugs um, he, he spent 20 years in research and development to actually create um, remedies to help people from um, pain uh, s better sleep weight problems to enhance their moods you guys know him as the formulator of the ISA delights and also the ageless uh, joint and pain support system with dr. Mark Kimes and he's currently a scientific um, advisory board member with Isagenics. It's my absolute treat to welcome Dr. Paul Anderson to the line this evening. How are you doing, Paul? Oh, I'm doing great. That's very nice, Warren. Things are, things are great down here in California. Well, that's good. That's good. There, we have a sunny day up here in the Northwest, so um, I'm grateful for that, let me tell you. Well, I'm also excited about this call. You know, a lot of people struggle with uh, weight loss plateaus and you and I were down in Australia and we taught on this and you were so excited you wanted to bring the information back to your viewership and listenership. Absolutely. And then that, that's the call, like the, the seven best weight loss plateau busters. And I'm really excited to get into them. But um, sort of before we do, I mean, let, let, why don't we start with why people actually plateau in the first place. I mean, we start getting great results and then what the heck's going on? Um, well, the underlying mechanism is one of where the, when you're getting good results, and especially in isogenics, and we know this from the studies, is that you're burning fat and building muscle. It's called, called positive anabolic balance or positive nitrogen balance. And when you get into a weight loss plateau, what happens is you're no longer burning fat and building muscle. You're either neutral or you go what's you can call it a negative anabolic balance where now you've stopped burning fat, you're actually gaining a little fat and you're losing a little lean muscle. And coming out of that state, there's some things that they may not be thinking of that are really affecting it. Uh, and you cannot get to your ideal weight unless you manage some of these areas, which we're gonna talk about tonight. Fantastic, because I know Sometimes I think uh, people almost, even when they're doing like the two shakes and one healthy meal, sometimes I think for their level of activity, they may not be actually getting enough in that healthy meal, enough nutrients, enough protein into their diet. Because I understand it's very important to get protein with that meal. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, we're talking about um, calories and days and how much protein and the studies that have been done by uh, Dr. Paul Cherio, what does it mean and what does it mean for you? And it really is um, not so much about calories, but keeping the sugar down uh, at each meal. It's really more about keeping your insulin low and getting enough calories and fuel along with enough protein to grow. You always want to put on a little lean muscle, at least a little, and burn fat. You always want to be in that state. Now, when you say not too much sugars, can those be natural sugars you have to be worrying about if you're having fruit and different things? Or are you talking about having honey in, in someone's coffee or tea? Or what do you mean by not too much sugars with the, the with yes. the We're talking about all of that. And it's going to depend on you. Some people can do well with two or three hundred gram, uh, grams of, sh of carbohydrate a day. Some people only do well on a hundred or less. And we're going to talk about that. But that you have to find the right level for you. We have, we have some techniques you and I are going to cover that will really give them an easy way to figure it out. I know we do. I know we do. Well, why don't you flip to the, the PowerPoint presentation and we'll get started. Right. So what we're going to do is I'll start and you just jump in. If you have any questions, you just jump in and I'll, I'll call you out a couple of times. But we're going to give you some shocking information tonight. And some easy stuff you can do and some things to take a little more. The whole point of this is if you use some of these or all of these, this will help you in your journey, get your ideal weight, and hopefully your optimal health. So let's get started, Warren. We tried this earlier, see if this will work again. So I'm gonna share my screen, Warren, you give me a 
heads up. Is that, are you seeing that, Warren? I'm seeing it. Fantastic. Standing. So, you know, we got to start off and talk about that isogenics products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. And it's important to understand. And you know what I like about Warren with you is, you know, I've stayed at your house multiple times and, uh, you know, as much as you're the, 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 the quintessential network marketer and such an amazing businessman, the thing is you absolutely love uh, nutritional products and supplements. I've been at your house and been introduced to stuff I've never heard of. So you, this is you. You love this stuff, but it's not. We've talked about this. It. It's not to cure you. It's to turn on the body. The body's the miracle. Absolutely, the right the ship. That's right. You get the bad stuff out. You put the good stuff in, and a lot of times the body just bounces back. That's what's so exciting. Yes, and, and that and that's exactly the point. And the, and the second thing more that comes up a lot is you know if someone has a medical condition. Uh, a lot of the network marketers are in isogenics and the business associates. They're, they're reluctant to send that person to the doctor or their, their caregiver. And they have to uh, for a couple of reasons. But the first reason is, is you got to make sure it's safe. But the second reason is these products are very powerful. And once your body comes back online, whatever you were taking, medication or modifications in your lifestyle may be very different. So it's very important that you go and share with a physician. Uh, that's looking after you and the way to do it is go in and take the studies which you can get from what is it um, isogenicshealth.net isogenicshealth.net in the lower right you can get the studies bring the studies in bring in the labels and say would you monitor and make sure this is safe for me because you don't want to ask like, hang on I'm just going to interrupt there did you hear Dr. Paul's language if you were coming to me and let's say I'm an MD I have my three boys. I support my family. Being a practitioner, if you ask me, can I do this? I'm going to say no. Plain and simple, I'm going to say no. Reason being, if I tell, say yes, I become liable. Yet, if you ask me, would I monitor you? And here, Warren, would you please take a look? Here's some medical studies. Here's the ingredients. Do you see anything in there that could harm me or be bad for me? The doctor's going to look for like the cola nut, uh, ephedra, mawang. I mean, they're going to look for the, 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 the weight loss um, triggers that a lot of companies will use that are actually bad for the human body. So they're going to look for that. When they don't see any of that, he's going to say, of course, I'll monitor you. And so that's the real big distinction here. Make sure you're asking your practitioner to monitor you because as you start to function better, you get the bad stuff out and you're functioning better. A lot of times, if you you happen to be on some meds, all of a sudden you may have to reduce them. And that's the real important thing is you need that doctor monitoring you. Yes. And, and so let's, let's sort of frame up the seven best weight loss plateau busters tonight. We have a bonus eight one tonight, Warren, which is ex uh, a very exciting one, actually. People will be happy about that. And this is, this is how I thought we started. I thought you liked this one. Why am I losing inches and not pounds? So are you really on a plateau? So that's really the question. Because um, some people are losing inches, but and especially women get upset that the scale isn't changing. But if you're losing inches and you're not losing pounds, what that means is you're burning fat and you're putting on muscle. So we're going to talk about how to manage that, but realize is you do have to be measuring yourself and you have to measure your, not only your weight loss, but your body fat composition. So make sure you have a body fat composition scale. Well, that's true because Dr. Paul, I mean, I've had many women that, it seems to be more women than guys. I'll be honest. I'm sorry about that, ladies. Um, but I've, I've had many women that will go through that 30 day program and they've only dropped a few pounds and they're almost like, like, dejected like oh my goodness it didn't work yet you talk to them well how are your clothes fitting and they're going oh they're, they actually have gone down a dress size and truly ladies is it not more about getting into that sexy black dress than what the scale says i mean that's really what this is about we're we're going to reshape the body composition you're going to lose fat and put on muscle which is a fantastic thing yeah, and that's the whole theme. So we talked about it earlier about negative anabolic balance. And it's interesting because I pulled some of the UK stats. This is actually a UK mother and daughter. Um, and this is negative anabolic balance. This is mean they're gaining fat and they're losing muscle. 
And this is how most of the, the in the industrial world's people walk around in this state. They're actually gaining fat and losing muscle. Even if they're on diets, the same phenomenon is occurring. What we want is positive anabolic balance, where we're putting on muscle and burning fat. So Jill Berth lost 135 pounds of fat, but she actually put on lean muscle mass. So she's in positive anabolic balance. Uh, Warren, uh, Lori Harder. I mean, this was great. I mean, Lori um, never really won any competition, switched to isogenics, and I actually have before and after. I don't usually show them with Lori. She, she, she had a nice body before, but once you go to isogenics, this is a truly a woman in positive anabolic balance. And here's Aaron Halston, Harrison. Uh, again, I always laugh at Aaron because he had to put before and after because he got confused which one's which. But, uh, I mean, that guy is ripped to the bone. And that's the guy I put on a lot of lean muscle mass, and he's in positive anabolic balance. So the first thing that we can talk about, the first one is you got to measure yourself. And, and, and you're a big uh, goal setter, Warren. I know you love uh, goal setting. And what you got to do is you got to put in some kind of metric for people. So if you really want to motivate yourself, join Isobody, because then there's more accountability. And if you don't want to do Isobody, then you can measure yourself, Take photos, weigh yourself. Remember, you're going to weigh yourself using, there we have, there's the scale, Warren, percentage body fat. You want to measure the percentage body fat. And you want to do the inches. Because remember, we don't, as you said, it, you may want to lose weight, but what you really want to do is burn fat and gain a little muscle. If you want, may not a lot of muscle, and guys may want to put on a lot more muscle. But you want to be in that state. So it's so important to have goal setting more. Absolutely. Uh, and here's, here's the second one is deep sleep. It, it's hard to get to your ideal weight if you're not sleeping. Uh, and the reason is, is the main hormone that's involved in positive anabolic balance is your growth hormone, which is secreted between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2, sorry, 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. The main peak's around 12 for most people. Uh, and so positive anabolic balance occurs overnight. So this was a study done in Washington where they took identical twins. They woke one up at about 5.5 hours. The other one slept through the night. And in 30 days without changing diet and exercise, gained five pounds of pure body fat. No change in calories, no change in exercise. They just, one twin lost their deep sleep. We have, there's lots of studies. Like that. Five pounds of fat because of it. Now, you said you're, you're sort of burning between clarify 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. <coughs> well, that's when your growth hormone is released. Okay, so now question for you. What about if you, you happen to be, there's a lot of people that where you're really not getting to bed till 11, 11.30 at night. Does that just, does that clock just shift? If say I'm going to bed at 11.30, does that carry through to 3.30? Or you say 10 to 2? Right. So the, the important part is it will shift depending as long as you're getting enough of your sleep you have to be asleep long enough so most people need eight hours but it ranges between six and twelve so whatever is ideal for you Warren or your wife lovely wife Arlene whatever that number is as long as you're getting that full deep restful sleep which means you wake up in the morning feeling restful you should not wake up more than one time at night that is the level, and unfortunately, on sleeping medication, you will not get to deep sleep. That's just the way it is. So, and it needs to be consistent. Humans can't store sleep, so you can't say, "Well, you know, I'm going to burn the candle. I'm going to get, you know, you know, four hours for the next few days. Then I'll sleep twelve hours on the weekend." It doesn't work that way, because all that you did is for those days you didn't secrete hardly any growth hormone. You had negative anabolic balance. If you don't get your deep sleep, and a lot of people. Um, don't understand that this is one of the most important part of breaking through a weight loss plateau and getting to your ideal weight. It's right here. So, so, okay. So help out, help out here, Paul, because I know a lot of times, especially Arlene, I mean, we'll get talking about stuff. The brain gets firing. You're thinking about this. You're thinking about that. And Arlene struggles more like me to sort of wind down before she finally gets sleep the other evening. I mean, she commented that she didn't get to sleep. We went to bed probably quarter to 12, and she couldn't fall asleep till just after 2 o'clock. She remembers looking at the clock at 2.10 and going, oh, my goodness. And 
finally she zonked out. Me, I, I tend to be blessed that my head hits the pillow, I'm done. But sometimes I do get fired up as well. You and I, you've been over, we've been talking late into the night and my brain's just firing and it's hard to, to f- just fall asleep. So what about that? So let's talk about it. So there's some important things, sleep hygiene things are coming up. So the first is try not to take stimulants in the afternoon. That's caffeine, uh, you know, uh, green tea, e-shots, energy shots, um, colas, anything with caffeine later in the afternoon is a problem for most people. Some people can't exercise at night. That's most the odd person can. In other words, the exercise night wake up. TV is a major problem because it shifts, uh, especially the news. So we recommend TV not in the bedroom, and you sh- ideally not reading. Really, you're not watching the TV now before you go to bed, and you do not watch the news. The latest thing, though, is blue light from iPads uh, and phones, especially the kids. But adults were finding it too. And so Apple's done something very smart. They have something on their iPad called Night Shift, and you can actually change the filter and turn off a lot of the blue light. Yeah, the screen goes yellowish. Yeah, and that's what you want. And then that turns out at night, you should be actually using sort of yellow light, low level light. In other words, when you talked about it with you and Arlene, you're right, you should be winding down and then go into a very dark space, very quiet. Some people can read, some people can't. Again, you want to be really quiet and just sort of wind things down. But TV and iPads and phones are killing us. And you're going to see a lot more problems in this area. So that's some sleep hygiene things you can now, do. Now, hey, Paul, I also have found what's very effective is just before I close my eyes to take an ounce of ionics. And well, we're, you're, you're way ahead of us there, Warren. <laughs> right. So, you know, in terms of something, your ionics, some people work sleep great and others don't. You definitely try ionics, adaptogens. Uh, Isopro. One scoop, that's isopro, not isoline, no sugar, does two things. It helps, some, it helps support healthy sleep. It also supports positive anabolic balance while you sleep. That's just one scoop. Very, very powerful. Uh, and the final thing is the sleep support. And we have to sort of clarify these things. More is not better. Uh, most humans, most, not all, but most humans don't do better with more melatonin. They do better with less, like one or two sprays. It's not suitable for kids and teenagers because it's involved with the growth hormone pathway and you don't want to blunt it. You don't want to interfere with the feedback loops. So ideally for the sleep support, you say one to two squirts and you're trying to- One to two squirts, take your ionics and wind down, turn down the lights, get in a very dark room. Do not watch the news, right? Try to get into a very relaxing state a couple hours. And we find most people do very well with this. Now, you also said it's not suitable for children or uh, teenagers. At what age would you say people can start using the sleep support? Uh, 18. 18? Yeah. Okay. I'll use it before then. So those are some things you can do. Again, sleep's really critical and managing your sleep. Uh, let's move on to exercise, number three. So uh, we've always been taught, you and I, that cardio is the way to lose weight. And it's absolutely not true. <laughs> Yeah, because to lose weight, you want to be in positive anabolic balance. And to do that, you need to lift heavy weights. It's heavy resistance training, one or two days a week. It's described beautifully in the book, The Body by Science, by Dr. Douglas McGuff and John Little, a Canadian. And this will really, if you do this one or two days a week, this is one of the secrets to bust through plateaus. Remember you're talking about calorie demand? Not sugar demand, but calorie demand, is if you're lifting weights, then you actually need to put in the, 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 the food, the amount of food you need, but also the amount of protein. We're going we're to cover that in more detail later. Do you want to comment on the weight training there, Warren? Well, it's, I just have really noticed so many individuals when they start using their Isoline Pro um, and, they're, and they're lifting the weights, as you're suggesting, one, they are burning fat, but it is shocking the amount of lean muscle people put on. Yeah, and a lot of times what will happen is, is the individual that's working out um, is doing like, say, two shakes and two meals, right? They're, they're doing a shake for breakfast. After the workout, they're using that Isoline Pro as a recovery and just getting stellar results. 
Yes, and we're going to cover that. So we're going to go one more form of exercise that, so interval training is the other one. So interval training is, uh, and when we talk about the study coming up, Dr. Policero did study exercise. So, you know, people using the isogenics 30 day, people not using the 30 day, uh, and he compared them, the two forms of exercise he used were resistance weight training and interval training. Because he knows that those are the ones that support, you know, positive anabolic balance. They put you in that fat burning, muscle burning. This puts up your uh, positive anabolic balance 454% if you do it correctly. So those are the two forms of exercise. So I thought I'd share the studies with you now, Warren. Uh, and Dr. Chair was really shocked, and I, and I understand why he was shocked. It was 12 weeks, and what he did was he took two groups, one on isogenics, not AMP products, just isogenics, 30-day. And he took the other group, and he put them on uh, you know, regular nutrition, same exercise, and compared the groups. And the first thing that was shocking, the men and women were very similar. And that's very unusual. Usually the men are much higher, because they have more growth hormone response. Uh, when they're in a positive anabolic balance. But in this study, the women did eat almost equally as well. Uh, and he used two grams of protein per kilogram, which is uh, re um, recommended by the isogenics, whereas the other group used one gram of protein per kilogram, which is recommended by sports science. And the isogenics group did it. It, it was remarkable. Um, they had they had less body fat, increased muscle mass. The, the weight didn't change a lot, but they, they really put on a lot of lean muscle mass. But they had increased fat burning at rest because why they had more lean muscle mass, right? They were stronger, they had more strength, they had more power, they had more cardiovascular uh, endurance, and they had more flexibility because he also did stretching. This is quite a remarkable study, and you can read it in the details on ISA. Um, was it was it um isogenicshealth.net you can ask isogenicshealth.net that's right you you mentioned two grams of protein per or kilo of body weight which is basically half your body weight in pounds so if you weigh 200 pounds basically you want to be having 200 grams of protein per day and that should be spread out yeah, it's a little less it's so 90 you're about 90 kilos of your 200 pounds which is 180 Okay. Yeah, and you gotta check with your doctors. We talked, you know, changing exercise and programs and all these kinds of things. You wanna make sure it's safe for you. But um, the other thing is he went off um, body weight. He didn't go off lean mass. Now we usually do protein uh, supplementation on lean mass. He did because they were all lean athletes. So the other thing to realize is when you're doing this, if, that, if you're significantly uh, overweight and have a lot of fat, if you weigh 300 pounds, you don't base your protein on that. You base it on your lean. So my ideal lean mass is say if I'm 300 pounds, maybe my ideal was 180. My protein requirement is set on that, not the 300. I talked about this. He, he, was, he was able to do it because they were so lean. When you're not that lean, you have to go off your real lean body mass. So, and if you don't know how to do that, you're gonna have to get a hold of a, a, a trainer or a nutritionist or physician that knows how to do it but that's one of the secrets so th this was just regular yeah um, but we have all sorts of uh, products now pre-workout uh, during workout and then recovery and we're going to talk about this so uh, and hydrate basically you can use pre-workout um, during and after the e-shot and ionics you can use this pre-workout. You can actually use it during the workout. Some people like to train on caffeine, others do not. But I wouldn't mix ionics and the eShot. They're both adaptogenic products. We use one or the other. I wouldn't use both. And Isolite works well with any of this, any of these products in combination. And Isolite is actually supporting your brain and making it happy so you have a better uh, enjoyment of your exercise. Now hang on, wait a second, just pause for a second. Um, with the e-shots or ionics or the isolite chocolates, how much pre-workout? Like, are you talking about 20 minutes before, one hour before? What are we, when you say pre-workout, what does that actually mean? Um, I would do the ionics, again, uh, assuming that you're coming into this with an empty stomach, which you should be, uh, the e-shots uh, roughly 30 minutes to 15 minutes before, same with the ionics. Same with the ice delight. The hydrate, you may start at 30 minutes, 
Uh, you may start hydrating an hour before. It's, it's going to depend on you. So, but they're basically 30 minutes or less products. Beautiful. Now this gets very confusing with power and NOx. So the way the company did it, well, they're really talking about elite athletes and a lot of people are not elite athletes. We kind of got to talk about what's reasonable for the average person. First of all, if you're gonna combine these products together, you better be training super hard. I've got ex NFL football players, NHL players, CFL players, that they take both power lifters, huge guys. Yeah, they're, they're animals. But most people don't need that. So I'd pick one or the other and try it first. And I'll tell you that when I start explaining these things, we've used these type of products for a long time. And it's finding what's right for Warren. So I can give general guidelines, but I'll say is Warren may completely do something different. Um, I've just done this for so many years with so many athletes. So if you pick power, pick power. And again, power is, is uh, uh, 60 minutes to 30 minutes before you work out, roughly. Same with Knox. 60 to 30 minutes, and it's going to depend on you. And I will also tell you, you can also take it during the workout. Now, for example, Dr. Mark Kimes takes Knox during his workout. 20 minutes and he takes Knox and he trains like an animal for an hour and a half. Well, okay. So you, you, we'll give you the guideline, 60 minutes, 30 minutes, but then you'll have to adjust it. Can you combine them? Yeah, but if you're only if you're training really hard, and we mean really hard. Uh, during the workout, you can do amp hydrate, yes, and you can also do a fuel. I don't know if I, this may have been, yeah, here we go, amp fuel. Amp fuel is sugar. So unless you're training super hard, Warren, like you, you, you're, you, you train hard. You and Arlene go out for runs and you're out for an hour, you're out for a couple hours cycling, biking, whatever. Yeah, after the first hour, you should be putting sugar in. You should be using fuel at least at the 60 minute mark. Now, after that, you may need it every half hour, every hour. So if you're out for four hours, you may start your fuel at 60 minutes, roughly. Uh, and then every half an hour, every hour, you're gonna have to take another one. Okay? And you'll have to play with that and find out if it works for you. Again, if you're not training that hard or that long, you don't need fuel. Now, one of our one of our buddies there, um, John Davis, who you know that's in Southern California as well. He won the Ken the Cup last year. I mean, he absolutely loves this fuel. He finds it really easy to digest. There's, uh, there's a bunch of those, those goos that people take. Yeah, yep. and this is a very good one. Find them too sweet. It's just like it, it, somehow the body goes in overload. But yeah, and this is a very good one. Um, but there, you do need sugar if you're gonna train super hard. John's an animal. And so yeah, he'll, he'll need it. The other thing is if also if, you, if you're training mostly anaerobic, you're a mixed martial arts guy, and you're gonna do mixed martial arts for an hour, you'll be taking the fuel the whole time. Because you're, you're, you're in a different zone, you're in zone three. You're spending a lot of time without oxygen, and you're gonna need more fuel. So again, you gotta find your way through this. Uh, Post-workout, this is what you were talking about, Warren, is that when you finish working out, whatever type of workout you're doing, you have one hour where your muscles are open and they want amino acids because that supports positive anabolic balance. That's when they're going to actually support healthy growth hormone release. That's what does it. Um, so you can use Isoline Pro, Isopro, Iso, whatever you want. It doesn't matter, but you've got to get a shake in you. You have 30 minutes to digest it. So as soon as you finish working out, shake goes in. And that's for everybody. And some people are taking their shakes before they go work out. And that puts you in digestion. You're not going to maximize your workout. Because blood's going to the colon. It's not going to the muscles and lungs and heart. Well, you're right. And Dr. Colgan, Michael Colgan, he's a big advocate on exercising on an empty stomach, training your body to, to fuel itself, work off your body's reserves. And then again, as soon as you're done that workout, huge advocate in getting that shape into your body immediately. Right. And that works for some people, but it depends what zones you're in. You still may need fuel. Agreed. You may need fuel. And again, you know, some of us pump, some of us don't different heart rates, whatever, and you know, uh, B2 max, you know, two max and stuff. This is the one that also gets confusing is Amp Recover. This is additional branch chains amino acids. You have branch chains in the regular shake, Isoline, Isoline Pro, 
and isopro all have branch chain amino acids, why have recover? Because some people recover even better with more branch chains amino acids, but actually some people train great on them. Now, we've never been able to predict this, but you may go and use recover all during your workout, and you'll say, this is unbelievable. You're just on fire, and so others won't. I can't train on this. I can recover on this, but I can't train on it. Mark Himes can train on this. It just depends on you. Got it. This is a real secret. If, if it works for you, this is a real powerhouse. Now, branch chain amino acids in the, the amp recover. Yeah. When you say post-workout, um, like if you've done a, a hard cycle, you've been out three hours biking, something like that, or training, you, you've been really exerting yourself, and you get in, you have your shake and that. What about later on in the evening? Can I mix some of that in some water? Absolutely. Absolutely, Warren. Yeah, again, you know, when you do the first one, you'll, you'll add it to your shake. You want to do it again later on? That's terrific. What you want to do is prevent soreness and promote growth. That's what you want to do. We want to support healthy muscle growth. And if we're supporting healthy muscle growth, we got to feed the muscles, of, and that will actually, part of that is you're just going to start burning more Fat. Remember in that study, they had increased fat burning at rest. And that's the state you always want to be in. But that gets you out of your plateaus, right? Exactly. All right, so let's move on to stress. You know, we, we, it's been interesting. I, I had a woman once at a conference and come up to me and said, I love Dysogenics, but I'm completely stuck. And it doesn't work anymore. It's a terrible program. And I said, oh, okay, well, let me ask, can I ask you a few questions? She says, yes. I said, uh, do you have stress? Oh, my stress is terrible I, I my stress I'm getting divorced and everything's my, I may lose my kids and just terrible things were happening to her I said you know take it your stress managed you're gonna have a hard time getting try to your weight and she was very upset with that I saw her a year later she was down another 20 pounds she'd gotten divorced and was doing fantastic yeah stress less weight less right so they did a, a study with women and it was an interesting study so what they did only thing they did was teach them stress management 30 days, the average woman lost five pounds of pure body fat The stress management. So understanding that we used to think it was an hour a day, then we're down to 30 minutes a day. Now we know 15 minutes a day of meditation or deep spiritual prayer will actually help manage your stress. We used to think stress caused your cortisol to rise that would put you in negative anabolic balance. We now know that stress causes inflammation, inflames the brain and the body, and then what happens is cortisol goes up and you go negative anabolic balance. And it's very hard to get out of that. This is chronic stress, not acute stress, but chronic stress. So you have to manage that. So if you don't like meditation and prayer, then do Tai Chi, do Qigong, do yoga. But you have to do yoga mindfully. You can't do like the North Americans all running in and out of their car. You have to go in there and be, it's a meditative, contemplative, whatever that is for you, really, really helps. And then there's some products like, the, and you were talking about this, is the ionics for sleep, but also during the day. This is important of using ionics every day is to help manage your stress. It's adaptogenic uh, herbal blend. That's what it does. If you're not taking ionics and doing those other things for stress, and Michael Klaus and I had a very interesting conversation about this because, you know, we talked about emotional, you know, stress. We talked about physical stress. And then he said, well, what about financial stress? I said, well, if you can't pay your mortgage, or you're worried about losing your job and going homeless, guess what? It's hard to get to your ideal weight. So you gotta take care of that part of your life and you also take care of part, the other parts of your life, but you gotta manage your stress. And if you, and man, if you're not sleeping right and you're stressed, you're gonna run into big trouble. Can that, why, why, why would you be healthy in that state? You can't be. Yeah. Which is, is logical right, when you think about it. Yeah, it really is. I mean, you, you got to get to this positive anabolic state. Uh, and the next thing is cleansing. There's been some real uh, sort of myths about cleansing. First of all, two days is better than one. There, there's no question. We now know that fat burning starts after day one. Maximum fat burning is on day two. We know that positive anabolic balance goes up higher on day two than day one. Now, on day three, what happens is it reverses and you actually go into negative anabolic balance on day three. But the first two days, the second is the less you consume, the better. Now, you can use isolate, you can use the snacks, right? We're gonna talk about weight thins in a second. You wanna use the minimum number that you can to get through the day. 
Because the more that you consume, and if you start doing almonds and eggs and all this other stuff, what happens is you're always putting yourself in digestion. So if you can use, this is what we say about isolate, use as many as you need to to get through the day or the two days, and over time try and reduce them, right? Because the less calories, the less digestion. Even though isolate's great and the snacks are great, weight thins was recommended by the company. The challenge of weight thins, it doesn't work for everybody because it contains salt. And when you cleanse, part of cleansing is you gotta manage the toxic load. And to do that, we have, it's mildly stimulating the kidneys and the colon, salt retains water. So whey thins have salt. Not everyone's gonna do well. So a power tip is, if you're gonna put whey thins, make sure that you measure your cleanse and you're still getting your results. If you're not, then switch back to the other products that don't have salt. Yeah. And it helps for some people, but not everybody. And, and if you go right back to 15 years ago when John Anderson um, developed it, I mean, we just had the snack wafers. And really, what he wanted to do is taking a couple of snack wafers, like between your breakfast cleanse and your lunch cleanse, a couple in the afternoon, a couple in the evening. If you have to have an extra one, you have an extra one. And what was so great is when you added in the ice and delights, when they became available, it was so perfect because someone could do a cleanse drink at eight in the morning, have a snack wafer at nine with a large glass of water, have a snack wafer at 10 with a large glass of water, and then at 11 o'clock, have a nice and delight. Right. And at 12, you're having a, a, a cleansing drink and you do it again. So that yeah. there's a little bit in your body. Exactly. So if you need to take more to get through, it's fine. But once you're starting to get through, understand is the goal is to cut back to, whatever, to the, sort of the level you're talking about. And there's a couple of reasons to cleanse. If you're not cleansing and you're on a plateau, cleansing is part of it because uh, this was a Mount Sinai School of Medicine study in 2005. There's 167 daily toxins in people. I mean, this is frightening. But I pulled this for you. This is the UK study. Just came out uh, April 1st, 2017. No, it's not April Fool's. It's actually a study. Um, they felt that every person in the UK um, had high levels of man-made toxins. They actually tested them for 77. And there's been a subsequent study coming out in the UK about toxicity. England turns out to be even more toxic than America in terms of the population. And, and, and as everyone knows or should know, um, Isogenics is launching uh, May 15th. And, and that's probably why Dr. Paul has um, shared these UK stats because they need it just as much as us here in North America are Australian friends, but they may actually even need it more. So um, encourage them to cleanse, guys, absolutely. Yes, and we cleanse for two reasons. One is because we get fat, fat burning fasting, right? So this is a 2011 study, uh, increase in, in positive anabolic balance, burning fat, putting on, you know, you wanna stimulate and support healthy growth hormone levels, 1300% in women first 24 hours. And it goes up a little higher the second day. And men was 2,000. The first day, that they're, they're, the positive anabolic balance skyrocketed 2,000% men. This is extraordinary. That's why you, you want to do the first day, but it's even more powerful the second day. Uh, the problem, though, is you release these toxins. So you got to realize is you can't just fast, so you got to also cleanse. And that's what the Cleanse for Life, it supports the liver and helping it detox these toxins that were stored in the fat, you burn the fat, toxins come out, you gotta support them getting clear of the body. A huge part of being healthy and getting to your ideal weight. We were a pre tox environment, you saw the levels, you gotta do something about it. And the other thing is, it, what's so exciting is Dr. Paul Osario has actually shown scientifically through his studies that our isogenics nutritional cleansing system actually causes the body to release toxins. We're not speculating on it anymore. It's actually factual. He's proved it. Yeah, he was measuring PCB levels. Uh, PC level levels go up, but the concern was, well, if they're up, are you actually getting them out? He hasn't done that final study, but he measured oxidative stress. And what was great was toxins went up, oxidative stress went down. So he's got another follow-up study. So very, very encouraging. All the things we thought uh, about the products are true. Look, people do much better with ice and delight on cleanse days. It's just the reality is it tickles the brain, makes it happy, it helps satisfy cravings. And it's a lot more fun to be clay, uh, cleansing with chocolate than without, especially for women. 
All right, next secret, healthy eating. It's interesting, when I go to Isogenics conferences, and I'm an all-organic eater, yes, uh, I eat super healthy, super clean, but even though I was gonna eat conventional, which I don't encourage, when you look at the amount of desserts and calories and high sugar consumption, just at the Isogenics event, they eat more sugar in a meal than I would eat in a week. Uh, it's a bit shocking, to say the least. So understanding is health, this is healthy eating. As, as Warren says, you can eat this three, four times a day because nothing in here is gonna spike your blood sugar, but you need fuel. But you can't have high carb meals, which means high sugar. And ideally you're eating organic. Hey, you're hey, hey, time out, time out. You can't have high carbs. So what you're talking about, if you look at this meal, you, you don't have a bunch of potatoes on your plate. Nope. You have a bunch of rice on your plate. Nope. You're, you're wanting us to really reduce our caloric or our carb intake. Yes. And that's going to help us also burn that fat that most of us are after. Yes, because what happens is if you start putting in carbs, you spike your insulin. We know a couple of things. Insulin actually upsets the body. It inflames the body. And it goes you go into negative anabolic balance. We know that if you under calorie a little and you're under carb a little, um, the studies and all the health, health, healthy populations around the planet also do that, is that it puts you in positive anabolic balance. And, and the nice thing about this is you don't have to go hungry. You're not restricted to one meal. Like you said, Warren, if you're hungry, you're training, you need more. You can do you know, three of these a day. All you're eating is really healthy protein and vegetables. The, the, this isn't going to cause you to have any... Uh, effect on your weight negatively it's going to affect it positively nice so um, organic again the reason to eat organic the main thing is to avoid toxins right because we got enough of a problem we got them in let's try and avoid i know it's expensive but costco walmart's carrying it now and out here safeway bonds do what you can to afford it um let's talk about sort of also helping your appetite on shake days power tip take one or two ice the lights before you go out for a meal It'll cut your appetite. Um, and and uh, use Isolite Light uh, as a dessert substitute. That's what Jim Coover does. I mean, these are just power tips to help you, you know, get to that plateau. Here's another thing to realize. Vitamin and mineral intake has a massive effect on your ability of your body to maintain positive anabolic balance. All the pathways in the body are very dependent on vitamins and minerals. This is the USDA data over 20 years. It's the same in Canada. 84.21% loss of vitamins and minerals. It's, it's bad. You know, we're basically poisoning the soil. So you got to put in vitamins and minerals. Uh, this is an excellent uh, vitamin and mineral uh, because it complements the shakes. Uh, it also has, uh, which is very important, it has reverestrol, which is very good supporting ox uh, us against oxidative stress, but also has a vitamin D3 and some CoQ10. The vitamin D3 is actually 4,000 IUs a day, which is very good. I do encourage people to get the vitamin D3 level and make sure it's in the middle or higher in the normal range. So this is really important. And also you need the phytonutrients. I mean, they're only the vitamin, you need the phytonutrients. Look, in Canada in the winter, even where you are, I know there's not a lot of rain, a lot of snow where you are generally, except for this year. Yeah. Um, and poor Kyle's uh, lake house was like, glacier house but you gotta get the phytonutrients and up there there's nothing healthy in the winter you can eat organic and do whatever you want in the north so you have that in the greens and the fruits to get the phytonutrients that you're missing and the combination of the vitamins the fruits and the greens really has a powerful effect on your ability to stay in positive anabolic balance we have lots of evidence for that now all right so here's some other power tips warren so this is my fitness pal I'd like this to track your food. I don't really care about calories. I don't use this to count calories. What I look to do is, like I'm looking at carbs. Some people are kind of shocked at how many carbs they're having a day. Like you said, you can have multiple meals, but you, you, gotta, you gotta know what's hidden in the food. So, and nice thing is all the estrogenics products are in here. And you can track that, you can track your exercise. I don't use this to judge people, but just to make them aware. And people are often very shocked at what's going in. The only thing I encourage you is just put, put it down. You know, if you have the cookie or whatever, just put it in. And after a while, you say, oh, I can see why I'm not really getting where I want. I'm adding, I'm just kind of snacking throughout the day. I got too many carbs. 
I got too much carbs in my meal and I definitely looks like, so I'm gonna, and then you'll figure out what works for you. Oh, I cut it down to 200 grams. Oh, I'm feeling much better, I, I'm through that plateau. I really like this, I, I think it's a good start and it's the best tool I, I know at the moment. So, so you're, you're, you're a firm believer in the fact that a lot of times when people are struggling, they're not really realizing the amount of carbs uh, that they're taking in. And that could be holding them back. They, they get this initial result, then they plateau, and it's this, the lack of knowledge that the fact that we're actually taking in too many carbs in our meal. And, and I've watched you eat, Paul. You and I have had, shared many dinners, and, and you really do stick, stay away from the carbs while you, while you eat. But I, eat, I consume a lot of food. <laughs> I eat a lot, but again, you know, you got to kind of look at it and this is a really great way for you to manage yourself and just make yourself aware. It's not about being judgmental. Once you're aware, oh, okay, I can see, I'm actually, wow, I'm taking 400 grams or 300 grams of carbs. Maybe I'll, I, I'll next few days, I'll cut it down. This is a very powerful tool. All right. Well, that was our seven and here's our bonus. More sex. It turns out that sex, you want to sleep? We talked about sleep at the beginning. In the bedroom, there is no TV. It is for sleeping and having sex. You know, with your lovely uh, wife or husband or partner, have sex. The more sex, the better, because it turns out it puts you in positive anabolic balance. Then you'll leave all these endorphins and dopamine. You feel great. It turns out that is absolutely the, 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 the eighth secret to getting through weight loss plateaus. Romance, and lots of it. Love it, I'm gonna make sure we, we I I'll give you a prescription. Arlene, 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 that's right. Arlene, Warren has to have more sex. <laughs> I owe ya. You do. <laughs> so, you know, we went over them today. I think I put a final set. The seven best weight loss plateau busters and the secret ones. So we'll go through them again. We talked about the importance of uh, good sleep and all the things around that. You have lots of tips around that. Getting your stress down, reducing your stress. Using the right kind of exercise to lose weight. You want to stimulate the body. And as you talked about, if you look at these people here, they didn't just lose weight, they put on muscle. Look at this fellow probably in his 60s or 70s with the biceps, like this young fella ripped to the bone. And these women look terrific. Again, they didn't just lose weight, they put on muscle, right? So if you use the right kind of exercise, Cleanse properly. Try and do two days. And that's two days twice a month or a day a week. Our, our house, I train six days a week. So I only, our house is cleanse Monday. That's what we do on Monday. We cleanse at our household. Um, keep the sugar down. We had a lot of talk about that today. And healthy eating, what healthy eating really means. We had a great example of a healthy meal. Um, track your food. Right, and it's not about being judgmental, it's just being about being aware. So if you're measuring yourself and you're doing it correctly, and that was the seventh tip was, do ice a body, but make sure you're using a scale with, that measures body fat, not just weight, measure your inches, because again, ideal thing is you're burning fat and you're putting on lean muscle mass. As long as your clothes are fitting better and you're putting on lean muscle mass, that's what's gonna give you uh, uh, the optimal weight and health that you're looking for. And the final bonus was have more sex. Well, you heard it here, guys. Um, I like that number eight, but you know, <laughs> there, there's, there's so much good that, that Dr. Paul just shared with us. And it's really the awareness, right? It's becoming aware of what you're putting in your mouth. Okay. And, and so many of us, me included, you know, we're just, we're, we're creatures of habit. And it's, it's this awareness. If you start to track it, download my fitness pal and just track it for a week. You know, you track it for a week. You may decide to track it for a second week. You end up tracking it for a month. And oh boy, that, that awareness will cause you to shift. That's really what it's about. I mean, if you're not aware that you're getting too much sugars, too much carbs um, in, your, in your diet, how do you know to cut back? So download that my fitness pal. And track it for a week and see where it goes. You you will be pleasantly surprised. Uh, I, I couldn't agree more. You know, we and I talked about we 
put this call together is, you know, what's holding them back. There's lots of areas they can now look uh, to see what's holding them back, you know, and there's lots of places that most people can improve. So like, again, you don't have to do them all, just start with one or two and get that going and then do one or two more. But, you know, I know Warren's going to do an evergreen uh, recording of this so they can go back and listen to it. And again, there's a ton of information to here to help transform your lives and those you share with. Well, Dr. Paul, I want to thank you so much for joining us this evening. I will say to, as you said, many people are going to want to re-go through. I think I have four pages of notes myself. So there's three ways you can get this recording. Um, you can go to takeactionteam.com and uh, join the email list there. And Katie will send the recordings out, send the video link out to you. So you can download it and watch this at your convenience. Uh, you can go to Take Action Team on Facebook, join that Facebook group, and Katie's posting these calls there, so you can access them there. And then the third way, if you want the audio recording, download Podomatic and follow the Take Action Team, and each week when these calls come out, the, the call gets posted there, so you can download it to your smart device, and what you can do is you're doing your workout, and you can be putting in some great information. So... Um, with that, again, Dr. Paul, thank you so much for your time. It was an absolute treat. And, and I know we have a, another call lined up. I know we want to talk a, a little bit about athletes leveraging the different ingredients um, and, and products to, to just get transformational results because um, we've had some fun calls about athletes, and we need to do another one very soon if you're open to it. I'm open. It was a great call. I really enjoyed that more. And I think we're going to really help a lot of people get through their plateaus. Wow. Thank you very, very much. And everyone have a spectacular week and we'll see you again next week. Take care. Good night, everyone. Mm -hmm.